All right, so my publishers for my biography box set have uh, been, let's put, find a way of putting it kindly, uh, writing my tushy to uh, incentivize me to write the books for my biographies, because I got eight biographies, so eight people, and spanning multiple languages, and so that'd be 11 total books, if I'm recalling correctly. And uh, so to incentivize finishing the books in a box set approach, they're like, think about making the books into movies, film adaptations of the books, which so it's 11 books, eight people. That's all. That's OK. So I've been doing my due diligence and being like, all right, film adaptations, huh? So this video going to be talking about film adaptations of the biography box set, which as of filming this, which is uh, Thursday, the 28th of July, 2022, none of these books exist in the biography box set. The biography box set does not exist, like as in like tangible books at this point in time. And nor do I know if slash when it will be finished. So talking about film adaptations, a books that don't exist yet is like not cuckoo which is like crazy um it's just let's do it all right let's take this seriously so casting um there, this is not not a whole a whole lot here okay this is like eight people okay just so i'm just throwing that out there casting the biggest question is so my biographies are big names in their area, in their discipline. So be it pool swimming, artistic swimming, open water swimming, Hollywood, they're big names. So in casting them, their coach, if they're a swimmer or something like that, uh, pertinent family and friends, the question that I kind of have the overarching question is big stars versus relatively unknowns and casting them. With big stars, active effort, active slash other effort is required to detoxify the image to not carry previous roles into present role. So we're gonna strip it down. Active slash effort required to de detoxify image to not carry previous roles into present role. So I've read this time, so I'm gonna try and think through. The problem with a big star, and especially there are very few movies of swimmers, like biopics, and more specifically, there are even fewer movies based on a biography of a swimmer, a pool swimmer, or an artistic swimmer, or an open water swimmer. That's just, especially when they have some absurd amount of medals. It's a bit of how the heck does that even get captured in a movie accurately, or, or in some way. Like, it's like, poof. Okay, and a book is, I can make a 500 page book, and that's like semi-satisfying. A two hour or two and a half hour movie, or an hour and a half movie, like, what? Okay, so with this casting topic, big stars. The these people are big stars. So th there's a bit of what is perceived as a big star based on my work experience in science is drastically different depending on one's community. So someone could be a big star in Hollywood or the American press. That does not mean they are a big star in science. Speaking from experience, there are people who are on the cover of a bunch of magazines and people have never heard of these people in their life. In science, scientists are famous, not Hollywood is famous, not musicians are famous. It would be like, you can take the number one selling artist in a decade and ask a scientist who it is and we're just kind of like, who? Okay, so saying that someone is a big star in Hollywood does not mean they will be a big star to the audience of a movie about a pool swimmer. Okay, that, that does not necessarily translate. 
Um, so that's something to keep in mind. The What I mean by uh, effort is required to detoxify their image, if they are known for a previous role, so let's say they starred in a series and they were a lead character in a series and they're like, I really am tired of this or I really want to do something different or I want a role that will challenge me and I've wa watched swimming my whole life or even just a decade and it fascinates me and I don't understand it but I want to be in this movie and I want to be the lead in this movie about this person that I just love or admire. Um, effort is needed to kind of like, I'm going to call it like a purge of any subconscious similarities between the role that they're trying to portray of my biography, so my the person I'm writing about, and their previous roles. So that requires extra effort, the taking on a big star to make them stripped of their previous reputation, as best we can for the movie at hand. So that's what I have about big stars. The verses, so the other end of the spectrum, is relatively unknown. Um, so relatively unknowns. And for that, um, and I've seen this happen where it happens very badly. Um, I'm not going to name names and I'm not going to name movies, but this is kind of what I've, I have observed is relatively unknowns develop career later, could negatively hurt movie long term depending on their subsequent roles. So there are a few actors that this come to mind, actors and actresses that this come to mind to, where they were kind of an unknown and had a huge hit. And I love the hit, but then the roles they took on later were really distasteful roles might be a way of putting it, like compared to the original. And in such a way that I've seen this person in enough movies now that the original movie, their breakthrough, I don't actually like that movie anymore because of the actor's subsequent films. Okay, it's a, it's a really peculiar thing. And like, I'm talking about, this is a, when I say long term, I'm almost 30 years old. So I'm saying like over a 10 to 20 t year time frame, I have observed my own preferences for movies from 10 or 15 years ago, or even like before I was born, change because the actors take on roles later that affect their, it's image down the road. So it's like the reverse problem of a big star. A big star, we know what kind of the image is and how to like detoxify that image. You got, there's a bit of like, with the relatively unknowns, not forecasting this person's career, just a bit of, if they're volatile later in a way that hurts this movie, this movie might not last or wear, using my, <laughs> using my uh, mechanical behavior of materials terminology, um, it might not wear well. So that means like the more times people view it and the longer it's around, it actually gets worse. That is not necessarily common, but I have observed it for people that are now quote unquote big stars, but they weren't in their breakthrough role. That was the start of them becoming a big star. So that's casting. Um, because my publishers are pushing me <laughs> rather hard, I do have a list of like dream people I would, if I finish the books and I'm making a movie or I'm making a movie and working on finishing the books, that kind of thing, uh, who would I ask to play each of my biographies? This is like a dream list, okay? So at first, Emma McKeon, I would ask model Haley Baldwin to play Emma McKeon. Up second, Yulia Efimova, uh, I would ask Katriona Balfe to play Yulia Efimova. Uh, who is that? She was the wife of Ken Miles in Ford v Ferrari 2019. Up third, to play Sarah Stjostrom, I would ask Lillian Duche Rocher to play Sarah Stjostrom. She is an actress. Uh, up fourth, for Lydia Jacoby, I would ask supermodel Alessandro, <laughs> Alessandro Ambrosio to play Lydia Jacoby. Up fifth, uh, to play Zoe Saldana, so that's an interesting role because she is an actress, so having a movie about an actress is, in, I, I don't, is like a mirror in a mirror kind of thing, I don't know, just, I, I'm writing a book, okay, I'm working on the book, There's the, that, that's like a, okay. Okay. 
Um, who would I ask to play her? I would ask Whoopi Goldberg, 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 to play Zoe Saldana. Saldana. Um, okay. Sixth, sixth. Natalie Hines. I would ask. So Whoopi Goldberg is like actress, comedian. Okay. Uh, six. Natalie Hines. I would ask singer and model VV Brown to play Natalie Hines. Number seven for Gustavo Adolfo Sanchez. I would ask singer Adam Levine to play Gustavo Adolfo Sanchez. And number eight, Gregorio Paltrinieri. I would ask Brad Pitt to play Gregorio Paltrinieri. So that's casting. Have I thought about anything else? Production? So if I could have a dream production crew, I have thought of only two, okay? I want both of you, if I, any, either of you are watching this, and if, if this happens, I, although I guess this is like me being like, okay, I want you, that's like a good incentive. If something's working, my publishers are pushing me, maybe this is a good thing. Watch this happen, that would be so cool. Okay, production. The two people I want, so, Paul Giamatti, I would want as a producer and director, and I would want David Thewlis as a producer and a director. Okay, that's production. That's like the dream production team, at least as it exists now. Which like enough of you like they could they could do more than one movie if they wanted. All right, um, <laughs> can each of you take on four movies? Um, okay, I'm like seriously. Okay, and then up last. Uh, notes about production in making these. Yeah, if we're talking about these actually getting done, then I would say I am not going for Grammy Awards slash Academy Awards for produ for productions or production elements. So that'd be like music. So referring to Grammy Award. Um, want to figure out how to make the products ineligible slash disqualified from receiving these awards. That is a media circus of its own. That's not what I'm going for here. I'm trying to get these done. I'm trying to get the books done. Like if we're talking about film adaptations, we're talking about final products. If you want me to get them done, no awards. No, 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 no. Figure out how we get disqualified. Figure out how to make ourselves ineligible. We don't want that. I don't want that. If we're talking, like if we're just talking about getting it done, that's off the table. Um, so that is talking film adaptations of the biography box set for my eight biographies per my publishers pushing. Think about this. So I did think about this and that's what I thought and that's what I shared.